now. It was the first official meeting that the CJ was having with the High Court judges and it served as an outlet for Justice Maraga to tackle the elephant in the room of the judiciary, one that has dominated discussion for the better part of the week, corruption. We must also agree and accept that there are cases of graft among us. In my estimation, that is like 10% of the entire judiciary, including even the, the, the clerks and the, those ones who are asking for 20 shillings to get a file and, and things like that. But we are all lumped together. The CJ says the issue of graft has continued to give the judiciary a bad image and tasked the judges to get to work to change that perception. They are, they are saying the judiciary, besides being corrupt, corrupt, it is abetting and uh, abetting and, uh, and aiding in corruption because we are stalling the hearing of, 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 of corruption cases, corruption-related cases, and they are not moving. The judiciary has been accused of granting orders that the state says are hindering development projects. This too has to change as instructed by the CJ. He promised fairness in dealing with graft allegations against members of the bench. But it isn't just the judges that the CJ wants to change tact. The lawyers too were put on notice. ...about corruption. When you have, uh, you have decided a matter, one party, and unfortunately in Kenya some, some people don't want to accept that they lost uh, on, on the basis of evidence and the law. They want to find an excuse. And sadly, that sometimes comes even from the lawyers themselves. Justice Maraga also asked the judges to ensure that they concluded cases that are more than five years old in the next one year. It is the same period of time that he wants the judiciary to have introduced the use of ICT in its dealings. To appeal to all of us to please embrace technology and let us move forward. Well, the Chief Justice seems to have set a very clear indication of just how he wants his tenure as the head of the judiciary to run a path that hopefully will help restore the public confidence in this very important institution. Brenda Wanga, NTV, in Naivasha.